G'day guys, welcome back to a new video on the True Footy YouTube channel today. We're going to be doing a new edition of AFL Would You Rather. So during the week, I asked you on my Instagram story for suggestions for a Would You Rather video and heaps of you replied, which is awesome and really helped me get the content done for this video. I didn't really set strict criteria on what the Would You Rathers could be. A lot of them are player comparisons, some of them are situational. There's a heap of different ones to look at today. So in today's video, I'm just gonna rattle off the questions. I haven't really pre-prepared answers. I'm just gonna look at what you asked on Instagram and answer them here. Before I get into the video, make sure you do go check out the sponsors of today's video, manscaped.com, for all your male grooming needs. They've got the products. We've got the Lawnmower 3.0, which is the body shaver with ceramic blade, advanced skin safe technology, so you won't cut yourself using it. It's got a little LED light on it, so you can illuminate your nuts as you're shaving them. It's got a 90 minute runtime, so if you are one of those lads who has a lot of body hair, this is the product for you. But it's not just the Lawnmower 3.0 here. They've also sell boxes. They also sell, I think a cologne is coming out. They've got something they call the Crop Reviver, which is like a ball toner and moisturizer. And I think there's a ball deodorant in there somewhere as well. They've got some great products. So make sure you go to manscaped.com. Use the code TRUEFOOTY20, all caps, all one word, and you get free shipping and 20% off their products. So let's get into the Would You Rathers. I am just gonna go through my phone and rattle off the answers to some of these Would You Rathers. First off, Darcy Balcom asks simply, Lockie Neal or Paddy Cripps? I think on current form, Lockie Neal by a long way. Cripps is a bit out of form, but I do think top potential Cripps does have Neal covered. Oliver Mir asks, would you rather North to win the flag or the Tigers to win the spoon? Um, I don't mind North. I don't really have any reason for them to not win the flag. It would be tempting to see Richmond, you know, sort of have a downfall, but I also don't want to see them, you know, drop all the way to last. I think the, the league is good with a big Richmond club. Also don't see it happening. And I'd be happy for North fans to pinch a flag. So I would say North. Sam Smart asks, win a million dollars or see an Eagles three-peat. Now this is tough. This is tough. A million dollars is life-changing. Could go full-time on YouTube, buy a house. Eagles three-peat would be pretty dope too though. Oh, I feel like such a sellout. I think I'm gonna save a million bucks. Eagles could still win one. If, you, if you're guaranteeing the Eagles win no flags and I get a million dollars, I would say no. Brendan Courtney, a friend of the show, asks one for one nose beers with Dusty or Swanee after winning a grand final. Gee whiz, this is not appropriate content. I'm probably more scared of partying with Dusty to be honest, so maybe I'll say Swanee. Keenan asked, would you rather prime Tony Lockett or prime Matthew Lloyd? I caught the back end of Lloyd's career and didn't see any of Tony Lockett, but I think from what I can gather, Lockett was a more prodigious player. I think he probably shades Lloyd. Sam Smart again asked, would you want to know when the Eagles next flag is or prefer not to know? 100% prefer not to know. The beauty of winning a flag is that you don't know it's going to happen until it does. And uh, in 2018, it happened to happen in the last you know minute or two of the game. So uh, that was really special. I think if I knew it was coming, it definitely wouldn't be as good. Jordan Jupp, another friend of the show, says Tom Lynch from Richmond or Jeremy Cameron. Both great players. As I'm recording this, Jeremy Cameron just bagged six on Richmond at the G last night. He's also got a Coleman up his sleeve. I think Jeremy Cameron takes the cake. Jordan Jupp also then asked Tom Mitchell or Jack McRae. I think 2018 Tom Mitchell was probably better than Jack McRae, but Jack McRae at the moment is definitely a better player. Woodsy asks, current form Paddy Cripps or Ollie Wines? I would say Ollie Wines is in superior form to Paddy Cripps at the moment. Niasha then wants to know, Dom Sheed or Patrick Cripps over the course of their careers? So this is a tough one because Dom Sheed won us the grand final with the kick of a lifetime, pretty much. If we're putting that aside for a second, you gotta say Paddy Cripps has been the superior player, definitely. If I have to give up the premiership to get Paddy Cripps, no. James Said asks Toby Green or Tom Papley. This is a tough one, two of the best small forwards in the game. Papley's been fantastic, but I think Toby Green is just a prodigious talent. I think I, I think he just shades him. Lukey Dukes asks, would you rather a new team from Tasmania or a new team from Northern Territory? I think it's Tassie's turn, to be honest. They've been a, a footballing state for a long time, not saying Northern Territory isn't, uh, but I think they're the next logical one, and I think maybe they could sustain you know a team and especially with players going to play from it a little bit better than Northern Territory. I'm sure Darwin's a lovely place to live but I don't know if it would entertain a lot of you know Victorian draftees who are, are going to potentially set up there for 10 years. Tasmania is a bit closer to home, the climate's a little bit more similar. I don't know I think Tasmania would do better. Jay-Z O'Neill 05 asks would you rather Freo win 12 derbies or win the flag and then finish bottom four for five years? Oh my god that is a tough one. That is a tough one. I mean flags are more important than derbies. Losing 12 derbies in a row would be hard though. I don't I don't hate Frio enough to never want to see them win the flag, but I do think it would be a little bit difficult. I have enough Frio for supporting friends, but I'd probably almost be happy for them. So I'd, I'd say I'd give up the flag. I'd give up the flag. Huntsman asks, would you rather get traded to Frio or Hawthorne? Definitely Hawthorne. Ryan Ellison asks, Darcy Parrish or Adam Chera? Uh, Darcy Parrish is in outstanding form, but I do think the ceiling of Adam Chera could be potentially high. I'm a huge fan of Adam Chera and I think I think at the end of their careers, Adam Chera will be the better player. Jack Almos asks, would you rather lose a grand final by one point or 100 points? 
You know what? I think it's a cliche that would hurt less to lose by 100 points. I've seen all kinds of grand finals with my team in them. We've won narrowly, we've lost narrowly, and we've also been belted. I hate to say, I think I'd actually rather lose by points, to be honest. Losing by 100 or even 50 points, that is really, really bitter. Chockstar asks Jack Gunston or Jack Rewalt. I have to say Rewalt. He's got the two Coleman's. Been better over the course of the career, but I do love Jackie Gunston. He then follows up with Tom Mitchell or Jack Steele. Current form, Jack Steele every day of the week. Darcy Weeks asked Oscar Allen or Harry Mackay. Now, this is a doozy. This is a tough one because these are two young key forwards that everyone's been talking up this year. Oh, that's a tough one. I think Harry Mackay is the better goal kicker. I think he's going to potentially win a Coleman. He could win the Coleman this year. He's probably going to be all Australian. And I'd say Oscar Allen's not really in the frame to be all Australian this year. Oh, so hard not to be biased. I do want to say Allen, but I can understand why people would be like, how can you overlook Harry Mackay? I think I'd take Oscar Allen purely for the versatility. He can play in different parts of the ground. We also haven't seen him play as the traditional main key forward yet. So I think there's a lot of upside there. And also I think he's a future captain. So call me bias. There probably is a lot of bias in that. I want to say Oscar Allen. Regan Kruger says, Sam Walsh or Bailey Smith. That's a tough one as well. I think I flip-flopped on this. I think previously I said Bailey Smith is the player I prefer, but it's hard to go past Sam Walsh's form this year. Sam Walsh has definitely been a better player this year, so I'll go with Walshie. Aiden Barry asks, would you rather be drafted to the Suns or the Giants? That's a tough one. I feel like Sydney would be a nicer place to live. Bit of a better sort of proven track record of developing players at the Giants. Also the Giants. Jared Smith asks, would you rather the Eagles move to Tasmania and win seven flags or stay in Perth and win none? Yeah, I would happily see them move to Tasmania if it meant seven flags. Flags are what it's all about. I can tolerate not going to every single Eagles game. It still means the world to me. Definitely be happy to give that one up. Joel Ware, a friend of the show, asks, would you rather take a Leo Barry-esque mark in a grand final or take the greatest mark of all time like Moorcroft? I think the grand final significance is more important. I would do the Leo Barry option there. People do talk about Moorcroft, but I think they talk about Leo Barry's mark more, to be honest. Jacko Wads asks, Dusty or Danger? I think Dusty's got him covered well and truly at the moment. Daniel Busher says, would you rather 10 years of Matt Taberner or a one-way ticket to Siberia? <laughs> Alexander Antisev, I hope I'm saying that correctly, asks a few player comparisons here. Nat Nui or Gorn? I'd love to say Nat Nui, but I think Gorn's got him covered uh, for you know prolonged consistency at the top. Um, and even this year, I think Gorn has been the better player of the two, to be honest. So, Maxi Gorn. Dusty or Petrarca? I think Petrarca's a superstar, but Dusty is an all-time legacy player. Petrarca could get there one day, but I don't see it right now. Dusty comfortably. Fife or Bonson Pelly? Oh, that's a tough one. I actually think I'd rank Bonson Pelly higher in terms of players this season. I think Bonson's probably one and two with Dusty. Uh, but for legacy and what they've achieved and, you know, top form, Fife has him covered, definitely. Trapstar Liam says, Andrew Brayshaw or Chankuth Giath? Andrew Brayshaw every day of the week. You'd rather a uh, real meat and bones inside midfielder, potential A grader. He's a very good player already to a really good running half back. And while I like both players, I'd definitely pick Brayshaw. Jordan Johnson asks, would you rather your most hated club wins a flag or West Coast wins a spoon? I don't think there's a single team I hate out there where I'd rather see an Eagles spoon than this team win a flag. Um, I wouldn't say I hate Richmond. I'm sick of them winning, but I'm also used to them winning flags. So uh, I definitely wouldn't accept an Eagles wooden spoon for pretty much anything. Heath Sheehan then asks, would you rather share a bag with Matthew Pavlich or West Coast Eagles win a wooden spoon? Well, I don't do or advocate drugs. So Matthew Pavlich with his huge nose, he can get through that bag himself. Chris Chong asks, would you rather get sent nudes by Jonathan Patton or have Jake Stringer take your daughter to her year 12 ball? Oh boy. Bring on the nudes. Jed Hennessy asks, Errol Golden or Logan McDonald? Logan McDonald every day of the week. He then asks Bont or Cripps. I think Bont's got him well and truly covered at the moment. He then follows up with, would you rather North or Collingwood's list potential? That's a tough one. I wouldn't say I'm well versed around North's young guns. There's, there's a few players I like. I've always been a big fan of Luke Davis, Uniac, but I also think Collingwood probably match them for the young guns. And I think they're established, you know, older players are also far better. So, and the fact that they're getting young Nick Dacos this year as well. Uh, I think Collingwood are pretty well set up for the next few years. I still think Collingwood, to be honest. Final question, Jed then asks again, Stephen May or Jake Lever? I think Stephen May. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for your submissions for this video. It really made my life easy, and it was a lot of fun for ones that I didn't have to prepare myself. We have heaps of content scheduled to come out on the True Footy YouTube channel soon, so I appreciate you guys all sticking along for the ride. Subscribe if you're new. Do go check out the sponsor of today's video, manscaped.com, for that glorious discount, and I'll see you sometime very soon somewhere on YouTube. Cheers.